Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Prodigy Season 2, Episode 15 and 16. I'm re-recording re this little intro because I, I now know that it is a Part 1 and a Part 2, so... Uh, because the last episode's title kind of spoiled the Mirror Universe thing for me, from now on I'm going to try not to look at the, the episode titles. So I'm going to do my best to avoid seeing them even, like, even after, like, the title sequence. I don't know, I, I just think it would be more fun that way for me. Uh, not knowing what's happening and then just being totally surprised by whatever may come. So that is my intention for the next six episodes. I do have confirmation without seeing the titles of the episodes that the last two episodes are part one and part two. So I have that in mind, but I believe the rest, everything else is not a part one and part two. As for my expectations for this episode and beyond, I mean, it hasn't changed since the last episode, really. Chakotay and, and Janeway have finally reunited and I'm excited to see what happens next. I mean, besides what I've already said, don't don't know what to expect. Uh, but before I get into this episode, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps me to stay motivated to get these videos out and helps the channel to grow, so thank you. I don't think I have anything else to say before just getting into this episode, so I will go ahead and do that. We finally made it back to- The protostar is so small compared to Voyager. Our journey left a few bumps and bruises too. I hope the doctor can help Zero. They can figure something out, maybe. People you trust the most. Bucky. Nice. The weapon on the protostar is no threat to them. Nice. So they can study it without triggering it while, while they're waiting to send it back. Maintain your distance. You hear that, Grom? Let's cut. Is this a simulation? Is this what they were working on? Because it looks like the same, same ship. What is yeah, simulation. Computer and program. Okay, I was wondering how they were gonna get back down to the ground. I'm excited to learn from the best. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on, Nova Squad. Don't be so prideful. The damage is irreparable. Hmm. Much more, and this body will cease function entirely. I never... Damn. Really? If we can't fix it, we make a new one. Huh? With Starfleet's huh? recent advances in artificial physiology, an upgrade could recreate tactile sensations in whatever form you wish. So hmm. I could look like me, and feel like me. How joyous! And terrifying. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm curious what uh, Zero would would define as what what they would look like. I'd prefer Mr. Pog to oversee the project. <laughs> okay. You could give it the old Jankum touch. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> that should be interesting. <laughs> so exhilarating. A new. Well, I hope this works out. Well, I was thinking like even if like even if this body doesn't work out, maybe they could go back to that planet and get it like renewed. I remember the first time we saw one of these clum badges. It was our last day on Voyager together. Our Voyager, I mean. <laughs> Forget. It's not every day you meet a version of yourself from the future. Yeah. Love love the callback. I'm looking forward to what comes next. Well, all seems good, but something's gonna throw a wrench into it. Starfleet Command has discussed it, and we will be taking over the protostar mission from here. With respect- Well, that's probably not gonna happen. Seeing how it clouds your judgment. Your orders are to escort the protostar to Earth. I mean, her judgment shouldn't be clouded anymore because Chakotay's home, right? We'll see you in San Francisco. Hmm, well. Options? Well, I mean, you could follow orders. Jellico may be right. We can't go rogue again. Yeah. I mean, probably wouldn't do, do you much good in terms of discipline. It's been a long road, Admiral. He said it again. Anytime they say it's been a long road, you you know where my mind goes. I'm happy the Federation's taking over. This is some good maturity from, from Dal. A lot more than we've had. You're needed on the bridge. It is urgent. Hmm? What is it? Transmission from a down Starfleet shuttle on Solum. Mm-hmm. Okay. Put it through. Her dad? Yeah. Hello? Is he gonna warn them that something might be coming? It's Essentia. She's a 
consumed the power. Too much power. Okay. Now a war is coming to you. Okay, my theory from last episode was not totally unfounded. Huh. I wasn't expecting to be right. Within those domes, months go by. Well, outside, maybe hours. Huh. Interesting. Time dilation. Where is she getting this technology from? That is a good question. Father! Damn. Well, I hope he survives. Something big. Huh? What the? Huh? What the hell is that? Huh? Any attack on our vessel will be considered an act of war. Acknowledged. Well, that's what they want, apparently. Shields are down to 87% and dropping. It's siphoning our power. I mean, if they really wanted to mess things up, they could destroy the protostar. And target Rev 1's torpedoes on the protostar. No. Okay, they are gonna try to destroy the protostar. Then let me handle the protostar. Well. Be careful. I just got you back. Yeah. Hopefully we don't lose you again. It was our ship. Who better? If the protostar goes. Well, I mean, I guess you could get some experienced uh, Starfleet officers. But I'm on board with this. Sure you know how to fly? Well, uh... He knows how to go fast. Are we gonna split them up? What are we waiting for? Good luck, Dal. Okay, well... Not if I see you first. <laughs> I hate that they're separating, but I understand why. It's had an oopsie in my pocket. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, you could proto-warp out of there. I don't know if they could chase you. Over here. I don't know, I think for the first time I'm a bit nervous for what's gonna happen. Then let's welcome them properly. Oh, Essentia. How frustrating. Okay, I have a theory, but maybe I'll wait until the episode's over before I talk about it. Received. Now get out of there. Shields at 3%. 2%. And we have the coordinates, go. What is happening? Why they stop following us? Well, they're gonna go stop the torpedoes. Or they're gonna fortify it. Yeah. Well, this is not how I expected things to go wrong. I am rather enjoying my new toys. You don't want to watch? <sighs> you know. Your strategic mind has been so useful, Traveler. How did they catch him? Huh? Oh, I had a different theory, but see, my, my theory was that, you know, when the in the Infinity was in the future and then transported to the past uh, to help Gwen when she was start, first started fading, I was, uh, you, you could see the Diviner uh, and some of their drones looking up at the beam of light that shot up. Uh, and I was thinking maybe they, like the Diviner, followed that instead of the protostar and messed with the the development of Solemn, but not they've got Wesley, so Huh? Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know. Uh and now now I'm so nervous for what's gonna happen next because I mean them having Wesley is just a totally different <laughs> beast than what I was thinking, so anything can happen now. Where's the loom when you need them? I need the loom to come and take Essentia and save the day. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start the next one. I, I'm extremely nervous for what's going to happen, but, but yeah. God, I'm so angry about Wesley. That is not fair. She's toying with us. Starfleet distress yeah. agents going unanswered. We may be on our own. They're targeting yeah, they're probably jamming your signals. Oh, God. I was like, yeah, we're not losing the doctor. Well? Well, you'll need a lot of luck. They do have some fight after all. How did they catch him? How? You 
don't know what you're meddling with. I'm so pissed. Huh. I mean, I suppose that's only one possible future, though. It's not guaranteed. Fire all port thrusters! I doubt it's gonna be enough. Oh, yep, and they're holding you back. <sighs> Attention, Shuttle Bay 3 has been breached by an unidentified object. Evacuate the immediate area. But aren't there only two shuttle bays? What exactly is it? Well, there's a countdown, apparently. What is that doing? Run. Nope. What does it do to him? Is he old? Okay, it's a temporal thing. Level 10 containment fields around the shuttle bay. Remodulate against whatever that thing's emitting. Well, it's probably not going to be enough. If anything, he seems to be dying of old age. Yeah. A week of Cerberusian gene therapy should reverse the damage. The shuttle bay, did it? I mean, if you can manage to get the therapy. I'm a Medusan. We do not age as organics do. I'm the only one aboard who can endure it. Hmm. I mean, this makes sense. I was just thinking, what if, what if Zero made Essencia go mad? See medical author author authorization acknowledged. Well, what choice do you have? It's probably the best chance you have. Okay. Still walking. I was expecting them to crumble and then uh, the Medusum like but take will. Zero's going to shut down that time weapon. So that means they need a backup body now. Huh? How's Jacob supposed to work under these conditions? Okay, so this will be probably similar to Zero's old body. Then maybe it's time we get unpredictable. If they How so? Forget your training. Okay. Okay. That works. Abandon logic altogether. Let's go. Makes sense to me. I mean, as long as you're being safe. You're gonna have to do better than that, Michelle. Show me some wackadoo moves. <laughs> wackadoo. <laughs> Careful. Lock the weapon onto my flyer. I will lead it into the enemy ship. Michelle, that's ridiculous. I don't want to lose Michelle. The logical choice is to always protect the Starfleet. Not alone. I mean, Vulcans can live a long time. Boothby supernova but... to draw the weapon away. Boothby. Set the weapon to detonate with all chronometric energy upon impact. <sighs> uh, I don't want to lose Michelle. This is so frustrating. I'll take it with those most important to me. My family. God, this is devastating. Okay, okay. I was wonder I was worried it was I was going to follow her still. Well, it's not the future you were imagining, Essencia. Not the future you were, you were hoping for. All right, now regroup, get your stuff back together. Oh, Michelle, you did so good. <laughs> I'm glad, glad she's alive. But zero. Yep. More of a classic body. Don't just stare. <laughs> Say something. Not too shabby for a rush job, huh? Yeah. Z now has sensory input. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> I feel. I feel like me. And that's what matters most. Nice. That's good. Admiral Delico has requested a presence at Solum. Voyager and the Proto. -star well, yeah, that's gonna go well. I don't. I don't think that's gonna go as well as Jellico thinks. 
We may and we may lose Jellico altogether. What's the matter? Not the ending you were hoping for. <laughs> Showing one outcome and hiding others in your mind. But um, yeah, what do you expect? And entirely unprepared for what comes next. I hate her. I really need the young Essentia to redeem this character for me. Damn it, man. Come on. Why you gotta be like that? Come on. I'm so... I'm so frustrated. They better have a good explanation for why Wesley has been captured. Because there is no... I can't think of a good one. There, there... Huh? First off, how do they know where to look? Like... And then, he's a resourceful guy. Like... I, I don't understand how he like he could escape the loom but not escape Essentia. Oh man. Like I said, it better be a good explanation cuz it's not necessarily it's not necessarily something that I'm considering a negative for for this season or this show in general, but like if they don't explain that well, like I'm going to have to have some words. <sighs> man, it was going so well at the beginning like with I mean, I knew something had to go wrong there's six episodes well there were six episodes left and now there's only four so something had to go wrong if i didn't know that it was going to be a part one and part two situation i don't think i would have known that something big was going to happen ah oh, man i am so not okay with this you know <laughs> like it's so compelling like it's great great storytelling don't get me wrong but like so mad i did like that wesley gave her a false future or just one of the possible futures but not not giving her the full picture man i was really worried for michelle and i guess i kind of am still not as worried uh, as i was during this last episode but just generally i'm worried that she is not going to make it out of this season because she's a great character but there's no guarantee that she is sticking around and I don't think, maybe I just haven't been paying enough attention, but I don't think the actress's name is in the title sequence. And I feel like that would indicate whether she is main character status at this point. But maybe they would be saving that for a season three. And keep in mind, and we, we have to keep in mind that they didn't know they were going to get canceled when they were writing this, when they were like doing all the like the recording and the, and the, the animation and everything. So I don't know. I don't know. I hope I, ho I hope Michelle makes it through this. Well, I'm I'm grateful that Zero has a new body that they were able to I don't know define what they look like that they were able to have I guess an input. I wasn't necessarily expecting the sensory inputs to be implemented in this suit this body, uh, just because it was such uh, like a last minute quick thing. So I don't know. I was expecting this like this to be like a temporary thing until they were able to really iron out the kinks but i but i guess the daystrom institute was able to send their research their information about the sensory input before all this went down i really hope gwyn's dad made it gosh i want to look i want to look up his name because i don't remember it off the top of my head but i don't i, I like i don't want to potentially see spoilers for his fate i could i guess look at like go back in the episode and see what they said it was just to be sure i think that's what i'll do Iltheron, okay. Uh, I hope, like I said, hope he's hope he's alive. I hope he survives because I I, don't, I like this version of Iltheron. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want. I like I want Gwyn to have a father figure that is actually good. <sighs> Man, it's frustrating. Apparently, Jellico is arranging to to go to Solemn to I don't know talk, but if Essentia does have as much power as she seems to have, ain't no way, ain't no way that any talk is going to make any difference whatsoever and i would be shocked if jellico makes it out alive man and they still have to send the protostar back so are they gonna do that before dealing with anything else or are they just gonna solely focus on solemn and like the the conflict with that also i mean since this is taking place during the whole romulan evacuation or around that time 
then this is clearly before the events of any season of Star Trek Picard, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. So assuming this doesn't create some sort of branched timeline of the universe, this is still going to be the prime timeline leading to the events of Picard, then presumably things are going to work out. I expect things to work out between the Federation and Solemn, but whether our crew members make it out alive, that is up in the air because, I mean, we just don't know. We don't know what their what their status is in Picard. I don't remember if Janeway, I feel like Janeway was mentioned in Picard, and I feel like if she died, it would have been mentioned by Seven or Tuvok in Seven's promotion scene at the end of Picard season three. Like, maybe Tuvok would have said something like, oh, the Admiral would have been so proud, that sort of thing, but I don't know. I freaking hate Essencia. I'm trying to watch my language. Not only for, like, YouTube's monetization. I mean, I think I could probably get away with saying the F-bomb a few times. At least once, but... <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to censor myself. Because this is a kid's show. But, man, it's infuriating. And I just... Oh, I hate Essencia. I hate... I hate that version of Essencia. I, if... If they could redeem maybe the younger version of her from this present day, then I would, I, I could be cool with that. I could be cool with that, but uh, man, it's so frustrating. <sighs> well, I don't know what else to say. Let me know what you guys thought about these episodes in the comments. Uh, were you as shocked as I was uh, by the whole Wesley reveal, by the whole, just them having all of this technology so quickly? I mean, obviously they have the temporal stuff but like that was revealed before the wesley reveal so it was sort of ugh, still shocking but let me know what you guys thought because i don't know i'm still processing i'm gonna have to still process until i get to the next episode which probably won't be until tomorrow anyways thank you guys for watching thank you for your support looking forward to seeing i guess the comments on this one i don't know i mean some of some of these episodes some of these videos do better than others others in terms of viewership and, and the comments but uh, i mean i understand some of some uh some of the prodigy episodes seem a bit more like filler even though they do push the plot along so so i understand skipping to the good parts uh, i appreciate those of you who do watch all of my videos and even those of you who don't watch all of them <laughs> but thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and hopefully i will see you guys next time